Vamos. Where you think you're going, old man? There's nothing down there. We made sure of that. We're now listening to Bean Town News. What do you got there? This old fucker is a gold miner. Yo, what up, fellas? How's everybody doing tonight, man? How's everybody doing tonight, man? I know you feeling good, bro. I know you feeling good, man. You just out there just put in a whole week of work, bro. You out there putting that that work in the gym, bro. You out there putting your, your work into your assets, bro. You out there just living a carefree, happy life, attracting everything and abundance to you because you retaining your seed. Let's keep it real, bro. I feel amazing, guys. I feel amazing, man. And I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it because I can't make it up, bro. Here I am, man. Okay. Been through so much in my life. I've been through so much in my life. You guys don't understand, bro. I haven't told y'all everything, man. I've been through so much in my life, you guys. Okay. And seems like most of it has came on the tailor end and the latter end of my life. Okay. Yeah. I went through some things when I was a teen and I was a youngster. We all go through that, you know, that era, bro. But I started going through the most extreme things that I had to really learn how to deal with, bro. In the later on in my adult years, man. Okay. And some of this, some of these things, man, bro, they were just heavy lessons, man, like heavy lessons. That's why I come on here with this passion, bro, because I'm telling you, I've been through a lot, 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 lot. And I know most of you have too. That's why we all connect because we can understand, especially when I come up here and start spitting that, that Tupac pain on you. It's so much pain. You know what I'm saying? You start to understand on where I'm coming from. And this is how we built this community, bro. All right? Because we all vibrating on the same level, bro. But I want to tell y'all something, man. I want you to understand, bro. This is going to motivate you. This is coming from your captain, your leader. And I take that honor, bro, and that badge, bro, seriously. I'm not capping when I say that. I'm leading the way for real, for real, okay? So when I come up here and I tell you guys that I, I will never give up, this is what I mean. I will never give up. I'm going to tell you guys a couple of things that I've been through in the last four or five years, all right? Then I never gave up. And the whole time I was on retention, I was conserving my seed. I felt like at times I was alone. I ain't going to lie to you. At times I felt like I was alone. 
I feel like I have nobody to talk to. I wonder why we're, we're, I have no one to call, no one to text, no one checking up on me. You know what I'm saying? It was a, it was one of them, them eras, right? Where you're going through all of this, right? And you're just sitting at home by yourself. And you, you're, you're, you're crawling in the bed every single night doing the same routine, wondering why you crawling in that bed alone, why, wondering why you don't got no company, wondering why you are going through these things. Let me tell you guys something. When you start to go through stuff like this, this is signifying that there is a change. There has been a change. You decided to make a change somewhere, somewhere in some time. OK, this is what we all do. And what you don't understand is you don't understand that the change, bro, does not happen right away. OK, the change eventually comes on and it catches you off guard because now what you're going through is the things that you manifested. You see, you didn't want to deal with all of that. Because you saw it wasn't benefiting you. You saw you wasn't getting the treatment that you deserved. You saw you didn't have the people around you that you felt like you needed to have. You saw that you didn't have the relationship that you wanted. You saw that you didn't have the career, the job, the purpose, okay, that you wanted. So what you had did is you had gone on retention. And you don't understand when you're going on retention, you're literally manifesting from this point out. All right. You cleaning up the trash. You sweeping the floor, bro. All right. You laying out a, bre a brand new, fresh map of the world. You jumping in your boat and now you just uh, sailing away, bro. All right. You out there, Christopher, see on them. You out there trying to discover a whole new world. All right. Because your eyes are now open to the possibilities because you're not tied down by all of this heavy, negative, low vibrational frequency energy that the matrix has put out here for us. OK, you are now free. OK, and all of these things are going to happen to you, brother, when you decide, bro. You decide to go on this journey and never give up. I was by myself many a times, fellas, and I was just wondering why are these things happening? And I didn't sit there and understand that these are the things that I was manifesting. You see, I wanted a change. And this is where I'm getting to the point of the story where the flower blooms, because here I am now, four or five years later, in a completely different situation with completely different gifts, with completely different opportunities, with a completely different attitude and outlook on life. You see, I'm not concerned about all of those things that I was detoxing from, that I had planted the seed on. You see, when you're retaining your seed, bro, you're only concerned about the now. All right. You're only concerned about the now. What is going on now? How do I feel now? I feel effing amazing because I never gave up. And no matter what happens, no matter what comes in front of your life, no matter what obstacles come your way, you are going to be solid at all times. Gentlemen, you got your back. Your fluids are flowing through your body, bro. You out here looking like the green lantern. Your body is glowing, bro. That means all of your attributes are online. You can see it all. You can sense it all. And now your life is great. This is what you're going to acquire, bro. This is the discipline that you're going to pick up. These are the things that are going to carry you, bro, to whatever position you want to hold in this game of life. In the zone I'm coming through, taking W's. Uh, if they hate it, that's fine. I still tell them what's the truth and what I'm going to do. Yo, I know the haters ignore me. I promise I'm going crazy like Jason Harvey's. Yeah, the bro is different. I know, but I'm really in it. I'm focused on my future like 2019, 2020 vision. Ha, you don't get it. That's 
fine and y'all ain't stopping me I was on the mic to tell them all that my god is king That kid's special, watch the way I switch it Like Nintendo on your OP like Goku No telling what I won't do Shower dirty home and I shower like yesterday I promise that I've got this homie Know that this my destiny Tell them who I spit it for I can kill the instrument so y'all can grab your piccolo I'm a gifted individual I go OP like it's Vegeta That's all on Yeshua This is my life when I rhyme it I could never give it up need to learn how to wield your power and this is how you're going to do it by cultivating it and never giving up you see i've been through so much especially that first couple of years bro on my retention journey bro I was holding my seed and I was tested. I was tested if I was going to break, if I was going to fold. There were times, bro, where I had to sleep in my car for up to a month, bro. Do you effing understand what that's like? And I'm not trying to sit up here and get no empathy. I know there's people out there with way worse situations than me. I'm just telling my story so you can see what I went through that inspired me to have this motivation to never, ever, ever give up. I was in that situation unexpectedly. I had to dig deep. I had to keep composure. I had to still remain solid, bro, and take care of the things that I need to take care of, bro, and still be able to function at a high level. And yet I still passed and succeeded. There was times there I got so sick. I thought I got a damn ammonia. I was so sick from sleeping in the car and guess what it had to be at the worst time ever in the middle of the winter. And don't tell me that I didn't have to battle all of these things that wanted me to quit, that wanted me to fold, that wanted me to bow down and become weak. Instead, this is where I built the strength that I have today, the courage that I have today to come on here in front of this microphone with no regrets and spill it all and let you guys know that everybody out here is going through the same thing. And this is why we need to get everybody on the same game and that game is called preserving and conserving your life force energy point blank period i have never thought about giving up and i will never give up the longer i go the stronger i get it's the way it works and this is what you're missing out on the longer that you keep playing with those sticky nuts no! No! Devil man! Naughty jungle of love! And sitting up on the fence and watching the game instead of getting in the game, bro. All right? And earning your position. So that's all I really wanted to tell you guys. I'm going to open up a line and hopefully we get somebody to come in here and chat with me about seed retention, bro. OK, about how you will never give up, about how this discipline done inspired you. OK, this bro, this right here, man. All right. Is what you need to get on, bro. OK, you are missing out. You are missing out on so much potential, bro, that you didn't even realize that you had. Vil plays. What's happening with you, man? How you doing, bro? Good to see you in here tonight, brother. Burner count. How you doing tonight, brother? Good to see you in here. Appreciate you for being in here tonight, brother. Leonardo, what's happening with you, man? How you doing tonight? Good to see you in here tonight, brother. I appreciate all you guys for being in here tonight, man. I really do, bro. You know, you got all of these different things that you could be doing with your time. All right. You could be out here, bro, doing all the degeneracy stuff that, you know, social media and society is promoting. But you're here, bro. You're here getting that true, good old knowledge and wisdom, bro. And that's the best for you, man, because this is actually going to give you something back. OK, for your energy, it's going to be an energy exchange. You're not here not getting nothing. OK, you're here getting fed with the truth, bro. 
Nick, what's happening with you, man? He said, what's up, brothers? Time to lock in before No Nut November. Hey, bro, it's time to lock in, bro. It's time to plant that seed. See, what you don't understand is you don't understand, bro, that even just in that short amount of time, that 30 days, bro, you can plant that seed, bro, and see a little bit to growth by 30 days, bro. There is going to be something that takes place. And all I want you to do, bro, is taste it. Taste how hungrier you get. Taste how much stronger you get, bro. Taste how you now understand on what you have to battle as a man, all right, to, to develop discipline and control. This is what you're going to have to do, bro. OK, you're going to have to learn the art of retention, man. All right. And you're going to have to stay strong, bro. You can't let nobody push you off your square, brother. And that's the truth. Israel, what's happening, man? He said, big up, SOK. I appreciate you for being here, bro. I haven't seen you in a while, brother. Are you doing good, man? Are things going good with you and yours, bro? Are uh, you still out there? I know you probably not be a 100% retainer, bro, but I at least hope you out there still retaining your seed to your best of your abilities, bro. I really want you guys to tap in, man. I'm, come on, bro. We're not getting any younger, gentlemen. Okay, we're not getting any younger, bro. People are people out here are aging fast these days. Okay, time is speeding up. Okay, you're, you're getting older and older faster and faster and faster i mean time is going faster bro so you need to really solidify what it is that you're trying to do in this lifetime bro and i'm telling you man you're just not gonna get there bro just off of your motivation it ain't gonna work bro you need this power up bro you need this level up bro okay you need to change forms bro okay every super saiyan changes forms bro <laughs> okay they don't stay at their base level but for some reason you walking around this mug with ba base goku <laughs> and think you about to get up in the rink with the big dogs come on bro at some point man you're gonna have to level up in life bro okay and the worst part is most people wait too long bro most people wait too long, bro. They wait too long to, to, to make this change in their life, bro. And then, you know, sometimes they, they won't even be able to tap into any kind of greatness. Sometimes, you know, they're going to get to the greatness and they're going to wish and think back on what they could have done, you know, years and years ago. Well, I'm here to tell you, man, this is another one of those times. Just how you wish you could look back at some point in your life, maybe some sports, maybe something that you wish you could go back to and remember because you had such a good time. Listen, I'm telling you, if you do this, OK, this is going to be one of those things that you wish you would have gone back and would have taken more seriously, bro, while you had time. Because I'm telling you, man, this is going to make you organize your life. You're going to put your energy into so many other aspects, bro. Man, you're going to keep creative as hell. Bro, I can't tell you how many notebooks I got laying around here with just... <laughs> I can't even lie to you, bro. I got so much stuff just written down, so many ideas. You guys think I'm a game. <laughs> bro, my mind work is crazy these days on retention, bro. And everything that I do, what I've learned, and I tried to tell you guys, but y'all don't listen to me. I told you when you're on retention, bro, you got to carry around a little notebook or have a little phone that you have. You can put notes in because every four to five minutes, bro, no cap. If you really tap in every four to five minutes, bro, you are getting some kind of different crazy idea, some kind of different crazy anything that you could use, something different that people haven't seen, bro, a different angle at a project. When I tell you, bro, the creativeness on retaining your seed bro is off the chain there is nothing out here bro that you're gonna do bro that's going to mess with a retainer you bro you're outmatched bro okay like i said your base goku running around here looking sad bro okay getting kicked up out the air bro you're you 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 can't even possibly tap in to the highest potential that you have bro because you don't have the tools in order to do so and i'm telling you guys bro this is it steven what's happening with you brother he said i would rather listen to the goat man i really appreciate that bro i really appreciate you being in here brother thank you for that steven man facts man lock in before no nut november bro 
<laughs> we talk about it every single year, bro. Okay. We talk about it every single year, but yet and still people don't understand. People don't tap in. People still think it's a game. Okay. We need to knock it off, bro. All right. We need to get serious out here, bro. We're the real man, bro. Look, we're in a time I told you right now, bro, where you can invest in something. You can invest in what it is that you're doing in your life, your purpose, and you can come out, you know, a millionaire, <laughs> 10 times richer, bro, because at, we're at a time right now where there's no leadership. We're at a time right now where you can really stand out, bro. And this is what I want you guys to understand that's on the table. Truth and Broadcasting Station, how you doing tonight, bro? You tapped in. Yeah, I tapped in. Yo, why isn't there, there should be like 10 people right now on this hotline. What, what the hell is going on? If your balls, if your nuts are full, why haven't you clicked on the link? There we go. That's what I'm saying. Because you should have something <laughs> to talk about. Tell them, bro. Absolutely, man. Basically, I went on this boat with a live band from 7 to 9, and there was about 30 of us. It wasn't a big turnout, but people were dancing. I was dancing, and you know, obviously, I attracted a few broads. And, uh, <laughs> and yo, it's true, man. Like, yo, I, you guys don't get it, man. The longer you're celibate, these girls, yo, they, 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 this girl pulled me over to a table. She was like, "Take my number." I was like, "No, I can wait. I can memorize it. Just tell me, tell me your number, and I can memorize it." No, no, get your phone and take my number. I'm like, holy <laughs> damn. <laughs> on you, huh? yeah bro like it's like and it's like the thing is and we were talking real quick and she's asking me all these questions how old i am and all this stuff i said you know i'm 43 and then right. she, and she's like you have any kids i'm like no kids she's like profiling me asking me all these questions and then i said oh you have no kids why and i was like yeah because i'm you know i'm qualifying the right person and then like she kind of threw it out there oh i think i'm she must have been in her mid-30s maybe right um but she was pretty, man. Like, you know, but these girls, like, right right off the bat, I'm telling them, yo, I'm qualifying because, you know, I want to have a family. And these Tell girls them, who are <laughs> these girls who are in their mid-30s, they're just telling me right now, hey, I'm too old to have, you know. But and sometimes a miracle can happen with these girls who are in their 30s. <laughs> they could. They could honestly be doing what we're doing to a, to a small degree. You know, for that, you know, for them going even like a couple of months is – like you know equivalent for us for going like a year <laughs> as much as you know they get thrown at them and the opportunities they have put in their face you got to give it to any girl that says no <laughs> you know for like yeah. a, a few months at a time right yeah i, I mean right. yeah you could you got a point though that could be true their one month could be our one year <laughs> think about it yeah. i mean I don't know one chick that doesn't have somebody in her phone that you know, she has on dial that's going to come through and, you know, <laughs> make some pancakes real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just like I, I there's not one chick that I don't know that doesn't have that. So, you know, there there obviously must be doing something, right? I uh, yeah, I don't I wouldn't know. I don't uh yeah, man, it's a tricky thing. I don't, uh, and this whole qualifying a female right now, like on the same boat, real quick, I got hit up by, I could probably say it's on YouTube, by, I guess she was, yeah. but she was, she saw me dancing. I got a lot of energy and she came, and before we got on the boat, there was a lot of elderly people there. So right. when I saw these two girls, I was like, hey, you know, I'm 58. Like I was joking. And then one girl was like, oh, I'm 69, because there was a lot of older people there. But, but the way I was dancing, she was like, oh, you're not 58. I'm like, duh, man. Obviously, I'm not. And she's like, how old? Same question as the other girl. How old are you? All that jazz. And like, right. then she ends up telling me, oh, I'm here with my wife. So obviously, she yeah. kind of felt that they were like trying to invite me to some sort of, you know what? You right, know, bro. like. <laughs> my name's Philip. Uh, first of all, I just want to say um, I mess with your content heavy. I've been. I've been on and off. I've been trying to practice semen retention on and off for a long time. And you were one of the people, um, I mean, since the pandemic that I followed and that I've uh, always uh, watched, kept kept up on content. But um, I don't know if Truth Broadcast, I don't know if you were still telling the story. I had something I needed to. Actually, well, well, no, I, I can I could be done with my with my lovely tales, but I like how you started off by saying I'm trying to do semen retention. What's with the try? Right. Um, 
I'm not gonna lie, man. I uh I've been struggling, man. I've been struggling. Um, I guess my problem is I already know like what I have to do to keep myself disciplined as far as like I so I, I I've uh I've taken a part in I know some people don't like Jonathan White um sexual kung fu with Jonathan White, but I, I actually took part of his course um to learn how to how to how to do better and how to prolong my streaks on semen retention. And, and tell uh, us about it. So usually I um I practice qigong. I try to I, I try to practice that every day, but I work about an eleven hour shift. So some of the days, you know, I'm not consistent. And I notice right. when I'm not consistent, and on top of my practices, I'll I'll release. So, but anyway, I'll get back to that. I wanted to talk about. Uh, I'm kind of having a issue with like uh i'm i'm, I'm lusting over this girl mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah yeah at my job uh so i work at amazon fulfillment center i'm sure you can imagine how that is um, right. working a warehouse job but uh so i met this girl there she's a little older than me i'm 25 she's 32 uh and she she was my type she caught my eye you know, she's dark skin. I, I just got a weak, I don't know. I got a weak, a weak, so, a soft spot for dark skin women, like chocolate burnt black women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. And, and uh, but here was, here's the thing. Uh, oh, that, that was me. Uh, that was oh, okay. me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in now. But, okay. um, so the thing is though, uh, when we first started talking, um, cause she came up to me and everything. I got her number like later that, that week. But the thing is, uh, she has, uh, she had three kids or she has three kids. She has three different baby daddies and she's had three abortions. So I just look past that being stupid, just look past that. And, um, you know, we were doing our thing. We were using protection, of course, right. But then, spending time together you know i was vibing with her not on no like oh i'm falling in love with her but you know i was having a good time you know i had i hadn't had a good time like that with with women in a while so i knew like hey this is just gonna be somebody you know that that i have a little fling with you know but not have a future with of course because she has you know three children and three baby daddies you know all of right. the above but th then i what made me cut her off is I have found out that uh, one of my friends that work that I work third shift with had sex with her like in the past, far in the past. It was 10 years ago, but it's still, I guess the way I am, I don't know if it's how I grew up or just my thought process. But unless if it's a girl that I, I'm, you know, I'm having fun with, I'm vibing with and I, I have some type of like tad bit emotional connection to her mm -hmm. if like once i find out it's somebody that i know that's hit her it could be 10 years a year i just i lose interest or i don't uh, <laughs> I really don't wanna, yeah mess with them anymore yeah like, what, you're, what you're feeling is natural so don't even re don't resist that it's fine it's right yeah. bro <laughs> so i cut her off but i'm not gonna lie man she's been on my mind i don't know why and we had only kicked it with each other for about really nigga four days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can hit me with that. I know I'm, I know I'm sipping right now. No, no, you're not. You're not. No, this is great, man. This is great. Go. Oh, I you're doing myself, good, bro. I told myself, like, man, I'm gonna get back on retention. But I think what what it is now is what's stopping me is I'm so quick to flaunt to a woman whoever gives me that attraction confirmation you know so i guess right. i'm trying to learn how let to me, i guess let, let me say something really really quick about that yes, bro yep, you're yep. not alone all right i want you to look, i'm gonna let you know right now bro that's still i still experience that same exact thing bro okay but you gotta understand man you can't just give everybody that energy, bro. You just can't do it, bro. Okay? You're going to attract a lot more negative stuff in return. You got to really vent one out, bro, when you're on retention. That's going to completely throw off your streak, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Okay? So that's what I would recommend. Just understand, bro, that that's happening to all of us, bro. All right? And that's just a test, man. So how far is it you going to make it? How strong are you going to be?
Man, I know, I know right now, I haven't even, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm trying to just start with going a month and then working my way up from there because I can't even make it to a month, man. I can't even make it past a week, whether it's me hooking up with a female or me, you know, giving in to the, to the, to the internet or to the hub or just to regular, you know, my regular imagination. Right. But I think, so, yeah. Is ahead. it because what, what else you got going on, man? Because first of all, when you say it, if you, if you don't have the willpower to do that, bro, you know what that represents? And listen, this is not me making no remarks on nobody or me trying to say anything significant. I just want you to understand what that means. That means you have no willpower, bro. That means if some dude who had more willpower were to run up on you, he could take you, bro. Do you understand what I'm telling you? As a yeah. man, bro, you got to understand that that's important to be able to build that energy, man. That's going to give you that will, my brother. And if you're walking around like the average dude out here, bro, think about somebody that's really walking around with this energy. When I'm telling you, that, bro, it's the reason why the boxers tell you they didn't do it. Why? Because they would get broken. Their will would get taken. <laughs> do you, you understand what I'm saying, bro? Your will yeah. would get taken, bro. They would tell you that in the ring. They would get taken. They would get overcome because they didn't have the willpower. That is literally your willpower. So you have to figure out a way, bro, to counteract what it is, what you're going on. And most of the time, it's usually something outside your life that is that is doing that to you. And in this case, I want to ask you, what do you have going on outside your life? Are you dealing with stress? Are you getting over a relationship? Do you have like any kind of substance abuses? Yeah, Are you struggling? yeah I, do, I do deal with a lot of, so I ain't gonna lie, I do, I, I smoke. Yeah. Um, I think it's just due to, again, me not, me not, uh, staying on top of my productive habits. Um, you know, in, in example, my Qigong, my breathing practices, um, just my, my energy circulating practices. I'm so quick to, uh, go towards negative habits, yeah. games, right. uh, maybe even shoot mingling with women, scrolling on the internet. I'm so quick to do that instead of, Oh, I also do judo on the side. So sometimes oh, you have all of this discipline though. I don't get it. You just yeah. told you hear what you just said. Like I'm looking back as a just I'm really taking an honest look. Like, bro, you just talked about all this discipline that you have by doing these other things that require discipline, but you still can't make it a month and you're saying you still can't make it a week. So what what what's going on, bro? There's got to be something else going trauma, on. Trauma, uh I'm I'm still trying to figure out my past, uh really do some deep diving into my past. Uh I've, I've let my past, I've, I've been so shameful about my past. Uh, I, I obsess over my, I just obsess over my mind all the time. I'm always in the past. And I think because of that, it, it causes me to uh, maybe to shame myself and dive into negative habits. Like when I'm, when I'm in a mindset of where my mind's just racing and I'm thinking about the past all the time, that's when I'm, quick to dive into my substances dive into the weed smoking gotcha. the weed playing a video gotcha. game just yeah just trauma i guess or letting 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 go of the past that's my problem letting, letting go of the past that's past. exactly yeah. it and that will hold you back see yeah. how see how other things can affect your retention journey bro see how see how we can't just think retention is going to save you know our lives and it's going to fix every problem that we have you have to, you have to, before you go on this journey, you're going to take it for real, for real, bro. You have to do some kind of healing. Okay. You got to do some kind of, you know, you're already doing the discipline work. So you already got that there. Obviously it just sounds like a healing thing, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would just, you know, continue to try to heal. Maybe there's something that you haven't been forgiven for. You haven't forgiven somebody for. Look, I would start in every single aspect of your life. I told you, I told you, bro, that's exactly what I did, man. And now I'm living this life of of I have no regrets anymore because I'm not doing I've I've gone back and I've 
done the best of my abilities, bro, to fix the problems that I had. I identified all of them, even though they were tough as hell to do. Maybe someone that I that was a family member that I hadn't spoke to in a long time. Maybe an ex girlfriend that I had did some, you know, maybe had some problems with, and I still had to have the courage to go reach out to her, not knowing what the hell she's been up to and face that because there's some things that I had to say and I had to get off my chest. Whatever it may be, brother, you're going to have to identify what it is. And all of these things are different for, you know, for each and every one of us. So I would say at least start it there, but don't ever quit. Don't ever give up on your retention journey. When I tell you, brother, this is, man, look, I can already tell you're a solid individual. You talk calm, you, your hands, everything, you know, you're taking everything really, really well, bro. So I already know you're solid, bro. All you need to do, bro, is get that spark that you're missing, man. Okay. You, I can see it in you. You you be good at just having your own live stream. You you feel me? Your own thing going on, bro. You're solid like that. So what I would tell you to do, bro, is I would tell you, man, to take that, you know, to take this information that I'm giving you and run with it and take it as far as you can and see what you're going to be possible of. And understand that the only one that's holding you back, honestly, bro, in the end of this, bro, is you facing yourself. Yo, listen, that's this girl, this girl, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, King. No, go ahead, brother. I'll wait. Oh, no, I was going to say, so this girl you're lusting after, you already, you already slept with her, right? Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. Well, look, man, I mean, the only thing I could say to you is it's a long journey to forgive yourself, whatever trauma you've had. Every, I mean, we've all have trauma and, you know, any of us can monopolize trauma. We can, but the bottom line is I think one thing is for sure. How, well, one thing is, well, a couple of things real quick. How long have you retained? What is your so-called longest streak? A month. A month. All right. So did you, how did you feel after that month per se? Um, I, I'm not going to lie. This is, before I was aware of how sexual energy worked and, and things of that nature. Uh, after I, after a month, I felt, I felt like I went right back to normal. It, I, I went right back into my old habits quickly. Yeah. Well, that's because, well, that's because you're bored, bro. And you got a lot right. of distractions going on. You need to just like, just like Shave said, I mean, I, you said you're 25, right? Yes. Yep. 25. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I'll tell you one thing. I mean, I'm only like 15 years older than you. When I was 25, I, I have to say that you're much more well-grounded uh, when I was 25. So that's what I said. Um, I see it right in them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're, you're definitely, you're, you're self-aware. You're aware that you have a, a so-called problem. So you're, you're way ahead of the game. And I'll tell you one thing, the girl you're lusting after, dude, if you retain for like three months, I know that seems a long time, you know, 90 days and she's still in your radar or in front of you, you're going to see Never. her in a different, you're going to see her in a yeah. different way, bro. You're not even going to be sweating her anymore. I'm telling you, she's no. going to be more on you. Thank you. I, I, oh, and that, and that's what I'm scared of. I'm scared that I'm going to not scared of, but I, I know, I know where I'm at right now. My vibration, I will be quick to, give myself to her love well you know why well you know why that is because you're saying it right now you're literally saying what's going to happen you're literally saying that you you would be defeated right you know what i mean you you have to you have to have a lot of self-talk yo give yourself permission to be great bro thank Just you for a month man bro you know? why are you people so scared of it bro listen man when i tell you that this is that confidence you're going to get from retention bro like you hear how we're talking we're t we're telling you bro like it sounds like so easy right because yeah, that's yeah. once you once you do it, it's that easy. Like you get this confidence. I guarantee you, bro. I guarantee you, if it was truth to broadcasting station or me, bro, I would have been confronted that situation, bro. I would have put it what it was on the line, bro, and I would have left it at that point blank period. There's no reason to be even lusting over it. You know what I'm saying? Go, go right to it, confront it, bro. You know what I'm saying? And lay it all on the line on what you want. And then it's either a yes or a no. And then you gotta gotta, you know, play in somebody's energy, bro. You ain't gotta keep your mind in a in a lower vibration, which is ultimately gonna keep you in that relapse circle. Cause once you start thinking like that and you ain't getting it, it's already in your mind. You done manifested it, bro. And now you can't control your own body, which I told you, which is that's crazy to think that men can't control their own body bro that's crazy bro it's like niggas need a license to control their body now like it's yeah. it's crazy bro 
You know what I'm saying? Like you should be able to control and say no to your body, bro. Okay. You should be able to say no to that thought. You should be able to change the trajectory of your thoughts instantly. You are a God, my man. Okay. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You create whatever you want, bro. Don't let some, a thought, you know how weak, it, like right now I can see your aura homeboy. Like you won't even believe me right now, bro. You have a real bright, um, white aura. Okay. Meaning I would think you're, you're, you're ascending. Okay. You're not, you're not bright. You're not the colors that you, sh you should be. Okay. You're not the brightest of your potential. But I swear to God right now, I'm looking at your aura, bro. You have a bright white aura, bro. It's glowing. That means you're taking this information in, bro. This means that you are really honestly trying to raise your frequency. You're being open to suggestion. Okay. You're taking this positively. And this is what I want you to understand. I want you to understand, man, that once you make the commitment, once you say, I'm going all in, bro, everything changes. Okay. Just put that in your thought and understand that every time that you go and lust and do all that, that's just going to set you back. Go confront whatever it is, what you want and lay it all on the line. You ain't got time to waste. Do you see what you're doing? It's like you're wasting time. There's a girl that you know you like. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. You can not make it to tomorrow. You're doing all this bull crap instead of walking right up to her and say, damn, I want to blow your back out, but in a different way. Do you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Instead of doing it that way, that's the way you should be attacking your situations, bro. Instead of wasting time, instead of wasting the time, bro, I don't do that anymore. I understand how precious time is. Okay. I don't waste no time. If there's somebody that I like and somebody that I see, I go and confront it right away. Okay. And I get the best results like that, bro. It's either you're going to find out if it's a yes or a no. So, why would you be lusting over someone that doesn't want you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to weigh it. Like, you got to look at it and be like, man, what am I really doing here? Okay. When I'm telling you, okay, just from like the truth said, we can see how solid you are. I just sat here and told you I'm looking at your damn aura. I already know what time it is. All you need to do, bro, is tap in, bro. Do you understand? You're going to have, you haven't even seen the world. You now have been to no other country. You haven't even seen the other part of this, this, these states. And yet you settling for one chick, bro. There's so many women that you have yet to see because you have not yet opened that potential yet. You have not yet opened that new road, that new journey where you're going to be attracting different things in your life. When I'm telling you, bro, there's a whole new world out there, bro. And all you need to do is be solid and remain in, in this game and retain your seat, bro. This is what you should do, man. I'm keeping it a buck with you. There's nothing else, bro, that's going to give you what you really is looking for, like retaining your seat. Yeah, you, you, you got this, Philip. And uh, yeah, listen, and also, man, you got to get rid of all the triggers, man. You got to get rid of, I don't know if you're on Instagram, if you got girls, you know, popping up with bikinis, you got to put, you know, un uninterested, not interested. I had to do that on mine. I have a private account on Instagram. And as I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, what am I now? I'm like 21 months or something, but like the first, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the first seven months, man, these, these nudie pitches kept popping up and I just kept uninterested, 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 every, you know, and now I don't see it anymore. So that's another thing you got to work on you know, censoring and creating a boundary from all that, you know, all that lustful imagery that can pop in and, your head. So And just saying no. I think that y'all definitely pointed out something for me. I, I just, I don't have boundaries in my life. I'm quick oh, you gotta to get them. Yeah, like if somebody calls me like, hey, you trying to smoke? I'm quick to do that. Nah, yeah, right. nah, you gotta have some boundaries, man. I mean, and look, but you're 25, dude. Like, you know, I'm like in my early 40s, so I get it. Like, I can, you know, I can't really, I, I can only imagine. <laughs> so, right, bro. 25, you, know, you were supposed to somewhat have it together by then. <laughs> well, no, but I was the same situation. I was 25 working like kind of like a factory type thing, like what you're doing. And I had a lot of, but like, you know, I had no one guiding me though. I mean, in some ways, you got shave line. I mean, I dare say myself, you got some folks here that have you know, been through the ringer, man. And like, I had no one guiding me about this shit. No one, man. I had to figure this out myself, you know, right. like it's just, just like shave, you know what I mean? So 
we're just trying to save you from a lot of pain. <laughs> right. That's yeah. why we're here, bro. I swear we wouldn't have no other purpose, bro. Why would we be here? We could be doing anything else with our time, bro. We could be putting our energy anywhere else. What we're trying to do, man, is we're trying to get you to understand, man, okay, that we've been through what you've been through, bro. Okay, it's trust waste, me, there's nothing time. new under the sun, homeboy. <laughs> We've all been through that, bro. And what we're doing is we're just trying to give you a different perspective on life, man. So you can help, you know, yourself, man, in the long run. Because I promise you this, brother, you guys got so much potential. You have no clue, bro. You have so much creative ability. You have no clue, bro. You have so much confidence that you've yet to pull out, bro. You have no clue. When I tell you, the longer you go, because you're building that up, you're building up the restraint, which the restraint equals your confidence, <laughs> your confidence skyrockets, bro. All right. Now you walking around this mug. You own it. You own whatever you do, bro. You own your new life, bro. You're solid, bro. You're not chasing nothing, bro. Everything comes to you and you stand on that. Now, that is what I want. That's the men I want. To, that's the kind of energy I want young men to have today. Instead of all this soft stuff, like they trying to soften this up in society, making men look weak, bro, and soft, bro, when we're really warriors and protectors, okay? We need to go back to that. And the only way that they were going back to that, if you go look at any old ancient traditions, any mighty warriors, bro, they practiced celibacy and retaining a seed, and they was unbeatable. So that is the energy that we need, bro, to have in us to keep us going to our highest level, bro. It's a fact. Most definitely. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? do? Right do? So what are you going to do now, Philip? What are you going to do? Uh, <laughs> I think now, like you were saying, uh, D, I gotta, I gotta focus on my like my trauma. So that's gonna take deep soul searching. Of course, staying on top of my practices. Um, I believe if I stay on top of my practices, as far as um, clearing my energy, clearing all the, because uh, my healing sounds, but just just energy work. The more I work on my energy work, um, really my breathing practices, staying on top of that. Um, really putting forth my effort towards that instead of uh, putting my effort towards negative habits. As soon yeah. as I get off work, um, I believe I, I will. I will be better. I will be better, and I'll be able to uh, prolong my streaks. But right now, I just want to focus on thirty days and then work my way up from there. Good to hear, brother. I like. I like that, and I like that, bro. Listen, man. I'm telling you right now, I want to give you another thing to think about. Um, you couldn't go anywhere right now and listen to anywhere on the internet where somebody would try to sell you some kind of, you know, information, bro, on some self-improvement tip that is going to be more valuable than this. You're going to go out there and spend thousands of dollars, all right, for information that is going to be so compartmentalized. Car you know, all over the place, okay, instead of giving it to you in one good, you know, box all wrapped up like semen retention, bro. This is the best thing that you're going to be able to do for yourself, bro. Trust me, brother. Trust me. Just focus. Go with it. Don't quit. There's going to be times where you're going to quit. Listen, man, we all started where you were at, bro. You don't think I, there wasn't a time where, well, I can't say I did. <laughs> I, can't say, I, can't say, I can't say I did, but I know most of the people out there. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? I know most of the people out there. I went, I, I mean, the first time that I did, I went 30 days and I didn't know what I was doing. I was just doing it because I was frustrated. Okay. I just was frustrated, bro, because it, it wasn't giving me pleasure. OK, because it was a relationship that wasn't that good. So it was just like that wasn't giving me the pleasure, you know, and then I'm having to deal with that. And then why would I go and just whack one? That's going to make me feel even lower. So out of frustration, bro, I just said, you know what? I'm not even going to do it. And I went 30 days before I gave in. OK, and then the, the, the coldest part is I didn't give in to myself. I gave in to a female. 
And that's where I started doing that. I said, I'm never going to go back to the self-pleasing. I'm going to be focused on what it is that I want in my life and my goals. And if there comes a time where I don't have a woman in my life, then I'll be retaining. And I've been doing that since this day. And that has been the best remedy for all my problems. That has given me the most confidence. That has given me the, the most self um, reinsurance that what I'm doing in my life has been right. Okay. It's been right because everything has been working and I've never had this much, um, you know, growth. I've never had this much prosperity in different parts of my life. I've never had this much energy and I've never felt this good. So I don't know what people have to hear. I've told so much. All my guys have came up here. Truth and all the dudes have been up here, bro, have told you the exact same thing. So we know it's not a placebo. So it's up to you, man, to choose what it is that you want to do in your life, man. So I would suggest you get serious, brother, man, because at 25, by 30, you could be a millionaire. By 30, you could have been on semen retention. You didn't gone for, six, let's say you don't just said, I'm going to take this year and I'm going to go a whole year. I promise you, if you went a whole year from now and you really locked in and you really focused and you really blocked off everything, like me and my mans have done up here to black belts, you will start to see, bro, okay, on how much that you can acquire and how much you could come up on in that short of time. When I tell you, you work circles around people, bro. When I tell you, bro, that you have an energy, bro, where you can multitask to a degree that people will not be able to fathom. Trust me, bro. Okay. You have this little engine in you that could, and it never quits. You never give up. Your energy level changes. And this changes the game. So that's all I want you guys to do, man. I want you guys to understand what I'm telling you, bro. What I'm telling you is the absolute truth. I don't cap, okay? And if I could go to each and every school around here from here on out, I would teach this to the youth, bro. And we would be seeing new people pop up every single day showing us crazy potential, okay? Coming up with crazy various creations to help change the trajectory of mankind. And that's what we're here to do because we've woken up. And it's a reason why we're all on retention at this time, bro, because this is what we're supposed to be doing as a collective. Okay. This is powerful what we're doing, you guys. This is powerful. So join in and join us. Most definitely. Most definitely. I had a quick question for you also. Um, so once you do decide to get with the woman, do you plan on uh turning it into, I guess, create, uh, turning it into like a tantric practice with her. Absolutely. You, okay. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay. See, um, what I'm, what I'm going to do is I wanted, I wanted the family thing, but in 2024, I just realized I had to see, this is one thing I want you guys to know too, before I get sidetracked. I want you guys to know that your thoughts and the things that you want in life are going to change year to year to year. It's what it is. And people can do the same thing, but they chose not to. So how are you going to be mad at somebody that chose to put in the work? This is what I'm trying to tell you. It's like a double whammy on retention. They really don't like you then because now you're confident. Before you wasn't confident. You feel what I'm saying? You was just learning and you was trying to speak what you know. Now you're confidently saying what it is that you don't learn and what you don't done because you don't been through because you don't experience it. You don't tried it out. You don't see that it's the truth. So they really don't like you. Okay. So it's just crazy, man. Look, you're not, you're not out here to try to change everybody, brother. Let's just get this. Let me say this last thing. You're not out here trying to change anybody, brother. Okay. Right. All you're here to do is present the truth and the ones that are ready are ready will take it. And that's all you're supposed to be here to do. You're not supposed to be here to make no friends and all that and be buddy to buddy. I, I could care less, bro. I'm here to try to save people, okay, and help people because people are going to be, you know, most of the time be bamboozled. This is what we live, man. You're going to be bamboozled. You know why? Because your mama was bamboozled. Her mama was bamboozled. And her mama was bamboozled. But her mama was one of those people that was put in Avery, right? And she knows the real truth, but she's long and gone, so she can't tell you on how that's really not the truth. But you got to be able to look at it, bro. You got to be able to look at, you know, 
the facts and understand, bro, on why certain things are in certain play. You got to question everything. And once you start questioning everything, bro, it should be pretty easy for you to see what's going on around you. And if you still can't do that, like I said, there's going to be some other areas in your life, maybe n number one health. Because if you're not eating right, if your body and your temple's not cleaned out, if you're drinking fluoride water and your 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 penile gland is totally classified, listen, people think all this stuff is a joke. You can keep thinking everything's a joke. This is why the matrix has compiled all these different things against you, and you will never find your way out, <laughs> bro. This is a game set up for everyone to lose. So you gotta understand, you gotta take this serious, bro. Y'all think this is cap. You're going to live 50, 60 years old when you should be living 100 plus years old. You think this is cap. This is everything against you. And you keep thinking it ain't going to be you. And this is why I say, man, I can't deal with certain people because people don't take life seriously. This is a serious game out here, man. All right. And you got to make the right moves or you're going to be set back. And the best way to do things, bro, is to go back to home base. Go back to how you're supposed to be. And it's easy. Go back and think about Adam and Eve. How were Adam and Eve? We'll just use them as a reference. They were pure. They weren't walking around here on rolling around on 22s, bumping rap music, talking about this itch, that itch, this 304, that 304. I'm um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Uh, money this, money that. Bro, yeah. they were pure. <laughs> They probably weren't even fornicating like that. Okay. No it wasn't until they started doing that until they fell. So what does that tell you how to get back to what it is that you think you need to do to get you back on? That means you got to quit everything around you, right? It's simple, but nobody want to listen. All I'm doing is giving you all the in-between stuff that some, for some reason that you guys have to hear, <laughs> you have to hear all the little things instead of just easily skip to the front of the book and understand that you could answer all your questions, but you guys have to hear every single little thing instead of look at the beginning of the book, your damn self and understand that you could figure out all of this just by sitting at home and thinking about it. It's crazy that, like I said, because of a book, it has captivated our minds and now we're not able to think <laughs> we're not able to think it's like we forgot how to think bro it's so simple bro it's so <laughs> simple you know what i'm saying because yeah. we're looking outside of ourselves when we understand we can create whatever we want okay law of manifestation law of attraction is something that you create it's not somebody outside of you bringing it to you so that's all i wanted to tell you guys man is there anything else that you guys want to say before i get up out of here bro um, I lost my train of thought, but it'll it'll come back to me another time. Uh, did y'all did y'all need to say anything? No, nah, we, we're just listening. They already know pretty much. I've talked about. They already know what I think and what I've talked about for years. They already know. <laughs> they're oh, pretty much on the same page. That's what I was gonna ask you. So, did you cut all your friends off? Like when you decided, no, like, man, that's not what it is. No. Okay. What you're doing now, bro, is just you're just your time is being used wisely. So if you're not creating something, if you're not, you know, doing something that's going to, you know, have something that's going to manifest with you, knowing that time is short in this world, bro, then you just got to be very, you know, short with your time. You know, uh -huh. I'm not saying you can't hang out with people and talk to people, but you're going to see, bro, when you you get focused enough and you, you start to see what it is you want and your goals in your life, bro. You're not going to have time for all that. So, mm -hmm. I mean, friends, I, we use that word friends, friends, how many of us have them? I doubt many of us even have friends. Okay. We just have people that we hang out with and people that validate us. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much the truth, bro. Okay. So like I said, just focus on yourself, man, and worry about what it is that you got going on, man. And then, you know, let those people come back to you when they're ready. What happens is, bro, when you start vibrating like this, man, you don't want to, you just want to deal with people that are on the same walk as you. You want to deal with people that are on the same frequency as you. That, that way, when you guys get together, it's going to be cohesiveness. You guys are going to be cool together. It's not going to be any negative energy. Wow. You know, when you deal with people that are not on your level, bro, you're going to run into those things that are going to, you know, give you some kind of setback. So I, I just think it's best to just kind of go on this journey on your own. For sure. Well, that's why. And that's why it's not about cutting off your friends per se is that they get cut off for the fact that you're vibrating high that you can't hang with them anymore. So it's like your vibration won't let you. 
Well, yeah. Well, you'll start noticing that after you hang out and you feel drained or you feel kind of a negative energy and, you know, it's, um, man, again, just give yourself permission, man. Like, and, and I was thinking as a joke, man, like you go two months, you re so-called relapse with porn or whatever, but it's all for that. Cause literally what it, what is it? It's, it's just, you do the act, you make the grunt noise. If you do make a grunt <laughs> noise. <laughs> Uh. And, and yeah oh and then that's and then that's it bro like and then, yeah. then what then what bro it's like yeah it's like right. all 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 for that just to go oh and then it's like all right now what you know like right. that, that's what you got to do man it, it's not worth doing the oh you know so just retain bro and you'll see and your mission and your purpose just give it time man you you retain for three months you'll start seeing things that you, you you're kind of good at things that you can probably invest in you know what i mean like just don't rush just trust the process trust trust celibacy and it'll take you there and it and it's symbolic to jesus as and even as <clears throat> shave was talking about because jesus in some ways let's say if it is mythology like say if he if it is a fictional character right it's like it, it, we've heard it before to reach Christ consciousness. He was crucified at 33. Like, right. you know, ob obviously he was celibate. He wasn't watching porn. You didn't see Jesus, exactly. you know, shooting a nut. You know what I mean? So, right. And he not to, and shit. yeah. And not to I, mention his disciples were disciplined. That's again, that's exactly. why you have discipline. So if you want to be like people who say, Oh, I follow Jesus or Jesus talks to me, like Jesus ain't going to hang out with you, bro. If you <laughs> No, like he's going to come back and say, you think you can vibe with jesus bro right. if he's like oh come on man it's a you, joke your man. pants sagging you got your ass crack out come on bro one in my he's mouth and backwards and back oh, miles all day. Oh. come on bro come on bro and then you're come doing on, that bro. noise let's oh. keep it real bro <laughs> they, they say come as you are though so hey, you, i say. feel you i feel you but that was a lie <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, man. Uh, I, 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 you can come as you are, but don't be coming in this mug smoking backwards with your <laughs> with your yeah, booty yeah. crack hanging out, bro. <laughs> we, gotta, yeah. we gotta stop that as a people, man. Hey, I want to play this something for you guys before I get out of here, real quick. So the yeah. other day I was on uh YouTube, man, and I was watching the book of Eli. And the reason I was watching the book of Eli is because in this uh movie, they kind of give you some truth in plain sight. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this small little clip. And it's going to kind of um, basically support what I just told you about how these, you know, the book was taken and it was used for corrupt purposes because they understood the power of it. So check this out real quick. Is that thing loaded? I don't think it's loaded. One way to find out. Look, I need that book. I mean, I want the book and you, but if you make me choose, I'll kill you. I'll take the book. Why? Why do you want it? I grew up with it. I know its power. And if you read it, then so do you. That's why they burn them all after the war. It's just staying alive is an act of faith. Building this town is an even bigger act of faith. But they don't understand that. None of them. And I'd have had the right words to help them, but the book does. And I admit, I've had to do things, many, many things I hate to build this. I confess that. But if we have that book, I wouldn't have to. I imagine. Imagine how, how how different, how righteous this little world could be if we had the right words for our faith. Well, people would truly understand why they're here and what they're doing, and they wouldn't need any other uglier motivations. <laughs> Y'all watch movies, bro, and the shit go right over your head, G. Yeah, they just yeah. told you. I got he keep. just told you. He told you not only did the, it was people killed for the book. They told you because it had the power. Why? Because it, at one point it was a good book. At one point, but that was way before people, bro. 
it was a good book, bro, because they had the things in there we were supposed to learn to help us ascend, you know, up our kundalini, up our spine, bro, and get to Christ consciousness. This is what they were talking about. This is why he wanted the book, because he knew how powerful it was. And then you heard him say, you heard, this was the villain talking. Then you heard him say, bro, that if they didn't know about this, bro, then this world would be a totally different place. They wouldn't know. They wouldn't know their purpose. Do you guys see, bro, on how they came in here, bro, and they hijacked it? And here's the thing. Like I said, I catch things in movies other people can't catch. I can show you a million movies all the way down to the cartoons. You guys think the cartoons is cap. That's how slow you are, bro, because they put most of the gems in the cartoons because they know you ain't going to watch it. Okay. Yeah. So when I'm telling you guys that in all of these shows and all of these movies, they tell you truth in plain sight, bro. And this is what he said, bro. I'm going to rewind just this part really, really quick. Listen to what he says. How different, how righteous this little world could be. But if we had that book, I wouldn't have to. I imagine. Imagine how, how how different, how righteous this little world could be if we had the right words for our faith. Well, people would truly understand why they're here and what they're doing, and they wouldn't need any other ugly motivations. It's not right to keep that book hidden away. It's meant to be shared with others. It's meant to be spread. <laughs> no, let me explain that part. See, yeah, you man. guys miss everything. I have to give it to you, bro. I have to give it to you. He's saying, eye. give me the book. Evil as hell. Oh, yeah. We don't need to hide that book. We need to spread it. Everybody need to get this book. That means the book was taken. The book was rewritten to the purpose of the conqueror, his story, to his liking, oh. to put people into slavery, to eventually be, you know, a martyr on the land. This is why all of us are not happy. This is why we're having... Uh, one world government, all this other different stuff that don't make no sense. They use this to get in power, bro. Okay. And because so many people would not fight back, okay, because they're brainwashed. Again, you how do you how do you destroy a god? You give them a book. <laughs> the most bro. powerful people, bro. You give you a book. A book locks you down, bro. Have you ever seen those video games where people have weaknesses and you kind of like you, you you choose like the magic game and you choose different things and people have weakness? That's what you do with a, a human. You throw a book at them. You throw that's what you do with a human guy. You throw a book at him. Read that motherfucker. And he lock themselves down and not understand that there is way more outside of this whole world. There's so many other different stories. There's so many other different occurrences that happen. There's so many different people that you need to worry and know about. Instead, they got you locked on on people that, you know, are telling you a story that's not even 100% authentic. That's the worst part about it for me. And like I said, I've done this research for day near 17 years. So yeah. you're not going to sit here and tell me nothing. I've done it all. I've tried to help others. Nobody wants to see it. Nobody wants to put in the time. They say they're too busy. Hey, then that's their time. I can't. I'm only here to try to show you the truth because that's what I'm about. I stand on the truth. I search for the truth. That's what I want. I want nothing more than the truth. And when I finally understood that I didn't need to read anything to be able to unlock my best version, all I had to do was go within. And what did I do by going within? By just simply remembering on how we were here before the fall. We weren't doing any of this H-I-S-H-I-T. We wasn't doing none of that, bro. So that's what I did. I went back to fasting. I went back to eating a plant-based natural diet. I'm not eating fried foods. I'm not out here drinking the alcohols. I'm not out here eating all this bad fast food. I'm in here meditating and stretching. I'm in here detoxing my body because I know the different elements that are going on around me. Bro, you guys can easily tap in to who it is that you're supposed to be, but you're letting so many things lock you down. Number one, a book. Number two, society and its opinions and what they think about you. you all this body 
uh, disorder that they got going on out here because they try to make you feel like you're bad if you're small. No, bro. We are the most obese country, bro. Okay. Obesity leads to sickness, leads to all sorts of problems. We have problems. Okay. So we need to worry about taking care of ourselves. We need to worry about going within, bro, and fixing the issues that we have, bro, before we can start trying to help anybody else. And when we do that, I'm telling you, it makes the transition so much easier, you guys. It makes this, you become the teacher. All you guys have to do is take control of your life and you become the teacher of your family. You become the teacher of your household. While you guys are sitting up here thinking that you can't teach somebody else, yes, you can. You can start small. And then you can see the change that, that you acquire from the things that you've learned from the people around you. And then you can expand. But the whole point is, man, you guys got to figure out what it is that you want to do in your life. Are you going to continue to go this path that you've been going and not seeing the success in the growth that you've been wanting? Or are you going to finally say, I'm going to try something new? I'm going to break the mold. I'm not going to go with what the majority are going with. Okay. You should already know when the majority are going in the wrong way, bro. That's how you know whatever you're doing is wrong. Okay. You shouldn't be following the crowd, bro. I know you've heard that. Okay. Don't follow the sheep, bro. I know you've heard that, but that's in fact what everybody's doing. So all I'm trying to do is try to get you to understand that there's other things out there that you need to put your focus on. And that would be retention, life force, energy. Therefore, you become a studious person. Therefore, you start to go and really, you know, truly go on this walk and start learning. <laughs> Bro, all of you have the same ability as me. All you have the same ability as truth. You all have this ability, bro. But again, you are allowing kryptonite. You are allowing a pre-planned out, okay, uh, programming, bro, that has been, you know, on us for many, many, our families for many, many years, generational curses, okay, for many, many years, continue to let hold you back, bro. And I told you, we're in 2024, bro. We're in the time for us to rise. We're in the information age. There's no excuse for you to not know the truth, bro. So that's all I really wanted to tell you guys, man. Okay, I'm about to get up out of here. I appreciate you guys for hey, being hey, in here. I appreciate right. everybody for coming here. You guys go ahead and say peace, man, and we're going to dip. Yeah, thank you, man, for real. Thank you. Thanks a bunch, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Y'all enjoy no, y'all Not night. a problem, man. I appreciate yeah. you guys. I'll talk to you on the next one. Hey, PB, man, come back on the next one, brother, man. Most man, definitely. come back I'll, on the next one. I love the energy. I'll keep you guys updated. For sure, brother. Have a good night, man. All right, brother? You too. Take care. Peace, man. Well, Lenara spoke once. Oh, crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it, it's okay because, bro, you, you know, it's like coming up here with a with the, the presidential elect candidates. <laughs> what, like we're I mean, holding a town yeah, what are you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> right? What is he going to say, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you already know how it is, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. No, but that was, that was yeah, great, man. man. That was great. What are you going to say? It was good, man. And you're right, brother. We need to have more people have courage to come up here. But again, I still think it's a lot of pressure. You know, people may not be people who speak publicly. They may not have that confidence, bro. You know, well, so if they retain, we'll, if they retain longer, longer for crying out loud, <laughs> tell them, tell them, Hey, I've been trying to tell them, bro. Okay. I've been trying to tell them. It's, man, yeah, but they, it, it, it's, it, it is. I mean, I'm not trying to be their defending lawyer. It's, you know how it was, bro. It's it's tough in the beginning, I because you know you get seasoned at this, and you you really develop that discipline. But right, I guess when you're 25, you remember being 25, bro. Like you're full of you know mad energy and sexual energy. You don't even know where to put it. You know, it's like it's the truth, man. Yeah, but um, but nah, nah. Philip is cool, and uh, yeah, man. This whole thing, man. Shade, you can you can do a you can do like a five hour live stream on it. All this stuff, bro. The Matrix. The, I know the deception, bro. I, and I'm thinking we should, bro. But I would like the back of a couple guys, maybe like you and Jim, and then a couple other guys. That'd bro. be good. Yeah, you're right. You know, you're right. right. Yeah, Sambara, you like you know like a group of like five strong dudes, bro, who can really you know fill in some of the things that I might not be able to say or you might not be able to say. 
Yeah, no, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, because I can. Yeah, I can definitely go and. <laughs> For real. Uh, man, I feel like like we're talking like a team, like oh, we're like the starting five of an NBA team. <laughs> it's pretty much like that because we'd be the generals, we'd be leading, right? I mean, we're the ones, you know, with the beacon. So, in a world like this, man, where a lot of people just don't know the correct path, bro, I, I would assume that's that'd be our position. <laughs> no, nah, you're right. You're right. There's a lot of you know, it's it's that Morpheus line where he talks to Neo, like. There's people that are not ready to be unplugged and they, they're hopelessly dependent on the system to a point they'll fight for it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So it's, it's like real quick, this whole World Series shit. Like I've been telling people it's, you know, rigged and all that. And you know, I, these people look at me like they want to kill me, man. <laughs> like when I tell them it's predetermined. Bro, um, hey, I be sometimes I just want to keep my mouth shut, bro. But I mean, yeah, I know. But sometimes I want to poke the bear, bro, just just to get people rattled, you know. Like fuck that, man. You know, it's like we're troops, we're truth tellers, right? We gotta tell the truth, man. Right. That's what but, we're gonna um, continue to do, bro. No, nah, absolutely, man. But yeah, man. Yeah, I'll be. I'll jump on, bro. Like you know, I appreciate spawn. you, man. Yeah, we'll jump on again, and uh, and I like the cats that come on, and yeah, yeah. See if you can get that. Jim, Jim is just. He doesn't really uh, click. He's not here right now, but he'd be good to get on too. You're right about him. Yeah, because we're gonna have a solid. We're gonna have a solid panel, bro. You know what I mean? We'll pretty much be able to answer anything. With you know, just like I said, just those four guys alone, I think we could pretty much answer anything. So, yeah, no, I'm down. But yo, thanks for the for put me on the platform, bro. I appreciate it. For sure, man. I appreciate you. Have a good night, Truth to Broadcasting Station. I will, brother. I will. Thank you. Peace, bro. Peace. So yeah, guys, that was the the live stream for tonight. Um, the retainers hotline. I will never give up, and why you should never give up. Okay, we're gonna, bro. We're never gonna give up. Let me tell you something, man. The worst thing that you could do is just fall over and die, fall over and and wither away, and let the vultures come and pick you away. But little if you know, if you would have just kept crawling, bro. You would have kept crawling another 50, 60 yards, bro. You would have crawled up upon a pond, bro, that was covered. And you could have nourished yourself back to health to live another day. This is why we don't quit, bro. And I want to motivate you guys to understand that I've been through some crazy things in my life, bro. And I never gave up. So that is the message for tonight, you guys. Never give up. I love you guys, man. I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace, fellas. I will not stage, even if I must sacrifice my life.